What is up guys, it's Greg White from BeyondComics.tv here with the man who's going to talk a little bit about the Berenstein Bears because he went to art school with the actual creators. Check this out, it's really awesome. Guys, we are here with Tony Bianchi from Halloween Adventure right here in New York. He is one of the major guys here. You should come down to check out Halloween Adventure too if you're in New York City or go to NewYorkCostumes.com to check it out. But he went to art school. Well, well, now, let me make it clear. <laughs> Listen I to this. I never met the Berenstein Bears. Creators, <laughs> but they went to the same art school that I went to. And I'm a, so when they were talking about that, the, the name Bernstein, well, I was known as Bernstein. <laughs> yeah, because I went to art school. It was famous. They went to art, art school. Exactly. So, so and, and that and was I, the whole thing. And, is I, and you and you go Bernstein Bears. They, they mm -hmm. never said that. Never said Berenstain with an A I. It was always the E I. And they were known as as this. I think Jewish um, yeah. creators, yeah. right? So yeah. so it's an odd thing that. Even in his school, everybody who went to that art school all remembers them, as he was telling me, as the Bernstein Bears, not the Stain. Yeah, the, creator, the creators are the Bernstein Bears. That's right, that's right. And it, both of them went there, right? The husband and wife yeah. uh, went there. Yeah. And what school was it again? Philadelphia College of Art. Philadelphia College of Art. So this is an amazing kind of thing. This is the first time. It's so funny. We were talking about the Mandela effect and the CERN effect and some of these things. Guys, definitely check the other video over here so that you can actually see part one of what we're talking about but you know we always ask people hey you know what does the evil queen say when she's summoning the mirror and it's always mirror mirror on the wall and it's and suddenly now it's magic mirror on the wall I mean is the entire nation having some brain problem or is it in fact something more you know it's a very interesting thing to think about so I'm curious about it too but you no know, when, when did they know them as um, uh, uh, see, um I, I, mm -hmm. see the only reason is because I never read it and everybody was into it like guess but I remember this is the Bernstein Bear people that wrote the Bern Bernstein Bears went to my art school. Art school. Yeah. And I go, wow, that's impressive because they're so famous. Because they died a few years ago. Yeah. Couple died. They died a few years ago. So it's it's really shocking. And that's how I relate to. So when I was here, they, and I said, they, I, I saw, uh, I think it's a Clyde Lewis, you know, on the radio. He was talking about it. I think. Named the show the Bernstein Bears. Bernstein. Exactly, and what's you know, odd about it too is that supposedly their names, the creators, were the Bernsteins, and they named the book the Bernstein Bears. So now suddenly, when you look, it's the Bernstein Bears or the Bernstein Bears. It says AI by the Bernsteins, which well, is crazy. I love, I love the, the, the. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. I mean, oh, right, right, right. It's a beautiful day right. in the neighborhood. That, that's I right. I use it all the time. It's, it's, exactly. It's a, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And now that we found out that Mr. Rogers is saying it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. So, so for those of you who are just tuning in, the, the idea is that if the CERN effect is true, and if they're changing something and accidentally little elements of things that we remember as a collective whole has been changed in the physical realm, then the one thing that's unchanged, the one thing they, they can't change if it's true, is our memories of the original way it was. So it's very interesting. Um, and again, guys, you know, if you just seen this for the first time, you might think this is bananas and what are we talking about? But do your research, check it out, and then look at some of the other videos, right, that we were talking about, like the spiraling uh, uh, lights. Um, I think it was in Scandinavia. Yes, yes, uh, over there by Australia. You, you can, can see look it, it up online. You see it online. It's I'm amazing to see the spinning you look up lights. And, UFOs yeah, and they're seeing that the black hole opens up, or was it actually this rocket that was spiraling? It's a very interesting kind of you know thing to, to do research on and to see but that's the big question is there more to this guys post your comments below make sure to subscribe please and let us know what you think thanks for watching and here's somebody who actually went to the same school the same art school as the people who created the baron steen or is it stain bears thanks so much for watching guys check out tony halloween adventure peace